Hey everyone, here's how to do Twixter and time remapping in Premiere Pro. So to get started, you want to have your clips ready. I've got mine right here. And the first thing you want to do is get rid of every still frame in the clip. So what I'm going to do is find all the frames that move and just make a cut. So one, two, make a cut. One, two, as you can see, it just moved over there. So make a cut. One, two, and just keep on repeating every time the character or whatever it is that moves. Now what you want to do is make these into one frames. So just reduce them by one frame just like that for each one highlight all of these one frames head over to sequence and you want to click on close gap right click on any unnecessary gaps like the one over here and click on ripple delete so now each frame should have a movement so as you can see i'm going through it one two three four five six seven eight move any clips that you don't need out of the way so i'm just going to move this to the right next up you want to highlight all of your cuts and right click on it and then click on nest click on ok and what you want to do is search for twixter pro the one here and drag it onto the clip now you want to pick my settings so for image prep select the second option which is contrast and edge enhance for the frame interp i'm going to choose motion weighted blend and for the warping i'm going to choose forward open up main bg layer settings by clicking on the arrow and you want to drag this all the way up to 100 and now this is where the twixter starts so first of all you want to extend your clip as much as you can i want my clip to be around 20 frames long which is 5 10 15 20 so it's around here but unfortunately as you can see it can't go any further so all we need to do is extend the nested sequence open it up and what you want to do is either extend this as far as it can go it can be around two seconds or three i recommend extending it around to two three or four seconds if you can't extend it any further you just want to right click over here and click on new item black video and click on ok this will create a black video which you can just place next to the clips so this goes up to five seconds which is really good so i'm just going to cancel out of this nested sequence and so if i had 5 10 15 20 frames ahead i can extend this ahead it's going to go black later on as you can see but that does not matter because all we needed to do was extend the nested sequence now make sure you're at the beginning of the clip first of all you want to head one keyframe ahead click on the stopwatch for the speed and set it to something high i'm going to do 200 150. Then you want to head to the middle of the clip, so I'm going to head 10 keyframes ahead around here, set it to 4. Ignore how it looks so far, we're not done, we need to graph this, so click on the arrow, and what you want to do is click on the second keyframe, click on this handle over here, and just pull it to the left, as far as it can go to the left, but also you want to make sure that the bar is on level, so not too high and not too low right about there and once you do play it back you're going to get a really smooth effect i also want to make it accelerate towards the end so if i do head over towards the end of the clip just one keyframe back so not over here over there set it to something high so maybe 125 it may go black but we also want to graph this so click on the middle keyframe and pull this handle towards the right again make sure it's on level not too high or too low so just about there if it's too low you're going to see that the number drops to a negative so if you do see that just pull it up a little bit more so playing it back as you can see it goes quick then it goes slow then it goes quick again there are still some things that we can do so first of all try and increase the speed to as high as possible so i'm going to try 150 and the black video has not appeared yet so i'm going to try 200 so it did appear i'm just going to drop back a little bit maybe 180 the warps are showing maybe 170 they are still showing so i think we should try 150 so far it looks really good as you can see we can make this impact a little bit stronger so it's quicker at the beginning so if you want to you can pull this handle to the left and a little bit down so it should look something like this almost like a little spike and the same goes for the other side so if i pull it right and a little bit up so around there it's a bit difficult to notice but it is a little more impactful a little more quick now what i'm going to do is apply the same thing to the next clip i'm going to make a cut every time there's movement so right there one two one two turn them into one frames highlight all of them and then head over to sequence close gap nest all of these clips and what i'm going to do is actually copy and paste the twixter from my other clip onto this one i've just realized that i forgot to add the black video before adding the twixter but it does not make a difference so i'm just going to open it up and find the black video just drag it on make it my desired length so 5 10 15 20 and just pull it to the right together these look okay but i feel like it's a little stiff it feels a little slow at the end of this clip as you can see so we're just going to click on the last keyframe and pull it down a little and you can see that it's more noticeable i could do the same thing for the second clip as well for the uh, first keyframe just pull it down a little it's also very stiff at the end even though i've set it to 150 at the end so i'm just going to double that set it to 300 
100 no black video so i'm going to set it a little bit higher 400 maybe it's gone a little dark meaning it's trying to blend in with the dark video so i'll do 375 and that looks fine so now if i do play it back it should look much better so by putting it on loop and playing it back you can see how smooth it is anyways that is all you need to do so thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time so yeah peace